Hello people, I'm Jojo and you're welcome to my channel, Jojo Connect. On this channel, I make video tutorials that teaches people how to get various things done easy and simple. Now if you're new to this channel, just click the subscribe button and also click on the, what, on the notification bell so that you get notified each time I drop a new video. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to effectively manage your privacy setting on your Facebook. So without much ado, let's get into it. Yeah, so what you do is to click on the drop down icon here. Click on the drop down icon. Now, once you click on the drop down icon, you go straight to settings and privacy. Then click on settings. And then you go straight to privacy here. Just go straight to privacy here. So once you get to the privacy settings and tools, the first setting we want to tweak is who can see your future post. Now you can as well just leave it at friends or you know then or you can change it by clicking on edit and then you click the drop down here to maybe public friends except you know sometimes you want to uh, limit your uh, your some of your friends from seeing your future posts you can click on this one but I'm gonna leave it on friends and so the next one I will be showing you is uh, limit the audience for posts you shared with friends. Of friends or on public now you can limit the post that people can see from your past posts now I mean I mean you can limit the audience on your past posts so what you do is just click the past post then come here and click limit past posts then you just limit the past posts now automatic so the audience for the selected content has been changed yeah so what this means is that new audience or new followers or friends may not be allowed to want to see your past post as you have limited it in the settings so the next one is to go to who can send you friend request as you can see it's on everyone but you can change it as well you can just change it by clicking the drop down here to friends or friends or everyone but let me just leave it at everyone so who can see your friends list you know now it's at public but you can actually change this as well to click down and then I can change it to friends just my friends those are the people I want to see the, my friends list on my Facebook page so who can look up using the email address now this is quite very uh, uh, personal so I would prefer to just leave it at friends but you can change it if you want you can let everyone see your email address or link you up to the email address or you know friends or friends or only me if you want to make it very personal and private and just click on only me and that's it so the next thing is who can look up using the phone number now as you can see i actually left it at only me because this is way more personal so do you want search engine outside facebook to link to your profile if you want people to be able to link to your profile from other uh, search engines you can just you know change this and make it yes but i'm just going to leave it at a no so this is the global setting for your Facebook uh, uh, page. So the next one is timeline and tagging. Now you can also change the settings here. Now what you do is who can post on your timeline. You just make it friends. So friends, you know, you can also change it here. Uh, you know, you know whether friends alone or only me. You know, so let's just leave that friends. Now who can see what others post on your timeline? Now. You can leave it with friends or you can change the setting here by clicking on edit. Allow others to share posts to your timeline. Yes, you can allow others to share posts to your timeline. Or if you don't want, you can just switch it off by clicking on edit and then you change it to off. Now, hide comments containing certain words from your timeline. Now, if there are words you don't like, you know, used that you don't like used on your timeline, you can actually change the setting by putting it here uh, uh, on click on here just change it from by clicking on the edit button here but i'm just going to leave that off so tagging who can see posts you are tagged in on your timeline sometimes you know you can just change this my friends or you know but i left it at friends you can change it to everyone or only me specific friends and so on and so forth but then this is where you do the change now when you're tagging the post who do you want to add to the audience of the post if they can't already see it now if my friends can if I, you know actually want a tag post i can actually make my only my friends to get to see it but you can change it to everyone only you or whatever from this edit section now this is quite important review posts 
you are tagged in before the post appears in your timeline. Sometimes you want to review the post, friends, other people tag you. You understand? So, and then if you want to review it, all you need to do is to keep your setting here on your setting because if you click here, you can change it to off if you um, uh, enable. Now, I enabled it. You can disable it. That means you won't be able to review any of the uh, uh, posts that you're being tagged. So, but I'm just going to leave it enabled. Now, this helps me to be able to accept whatever post to appear on my timeline as you know that I have been tagged by. So the next one will be review what other people see on your timeline. Now here you see this is just to view what your timeline will look like you know after your setting. So if you want to see that just click on view as so review tag people add to your post before the tags appear on your Facebook. Yes, like I said, I like to always review everything, whether it's a post that I'm tagged or whether, you know, uh, any post, whatever as it is, or, uh, you know, I like to review everything. So I, I'll leave that on. But if you want, if you just want any posts that you're tagged to appear on your Facebook page, just, you know, on your Facebook timeline, just click on edit and then you disable the uh, the own feature. So that's that about timelines and uh, 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 tagging. Now the other area I just want to quickly show you before I end this tutorial is blocking. You know, yeah, we have restricted list here. If you edit this list, I don't want a restricted list, and then it's this actually you know restricts uh, some of your Facebook friends or uh, you know those who are already on your friend list and your Facebook uh, page. Now, what this does is that it helps to you know restrict those who can see your posts. I don't want that. But then they will when you post, they will not be able to see it. But it, it, they it will not appear to them like they've been restricted. Facebook will not uh, you know alert them that they've been restricted. Only that they will not continue seeing your post over time. Now you can block users here. You understand? This is quite straightforward. If someone is pestering your life, you can just go ahead and block the person by putting the person's uh, 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 Facebook name or email address here and then that's it. Now, block messages. There are some messages that people send into your Facebook Messenger. All you need to do is to just put the, you know, type the Facebook address name or the email address there and then you block such person from sending you messages like that. So this is just the setting to what to effectively, you know, manage your privacy setting. Remember, be safe out there.